Both of them may be peering over their computers, Ooh. but they're not able to do it. Well, okay, we're going back to Why? Terminus again. He's crazy. He yeah, just lost this, twice on this map, this but he wants Kynes to do it again. This is Kynes' choice. Like, uses banning down and leaving these open, and then Kynes is choosing to come back to Terminus again. What is he cooking here? I, I, I don't know. Goes for the three-piece. Kynes getting some great damage. Or, sorry, Yuz getting some great damage. Kynes not able to get damage. Finally, catches Yuz, but it's just a down light. What's the game coming out? The range between those two, side light to side oh, light, Yuz is going to win that it. almost every time. Just barely getting over that side light, reaching a little bit too low. What it lacks in vertical, it makes up for in the horizontal. Absolutely, but you see Yuz making the swap over to the sword now. He wants to get that KO. He baits out the neutral light. Down light into the recovery. Yuz with the first stock here in the grand finals. He has so much momentum in his corner after the bracket reset. It seems like this game he already has so much oh! momentum. Oh my gosh. He's going for the big play with the GC instinct off the top. He already has Kaina in orange. He's completely controlling every single moment oh, of this gameplay. He's about to take away this stock in less than 20 seconds. He's basically, basically been untouched when Kaina came in on this second stock. Use is popping off right now. Sidelight not able to get the dodge, but so much damage is on Kaina right now. This is basically more than lapped. You may think that we are on Terminus here, but actually Use is completely inside of Kaina's head. He knows everything that is going on before it even happens. What is this Use? Where did this come from? Whole different beast when Use gets knocked down to the elimination side of the bracket at BCX. He wants to be the two time here and now. Kaina comes in two-piece, but use still on his first stock. He's going to have to put out a lot of damage very quickly. That's the way to start it with the D-Sig, especially when you have the Axe. You don't have to worry about the neutral light where you pick it up. You don't have to worry about the stray hit on the Axe side or anything like that. Hit that D-Sig from anywhere. You're probably going to find that KO, but here comes Yuz in with the sword. Nice side air getting behind Kaina. Okay, catches him with the down air, catches him with the neutral air. Kind of struggling to at least stay even in the damage department against Yuz right now. And Sig, that's an easy punish. Just in there, gets a recovery, but it doesn't bounce high enough. You saw him trying to get that combo he did earlier. Dude, Kind of can't find any momentum whatsoever. It's one hit here and there. The stomp side air is almost completely gone. He's hardly able to find the startups. There, he finally finds one, but he goes with the recovery, misses that, and that is yet a. Kind of, he's on the Yubico yes. for game yes. number two. Yes, if he, we're back on Terminus, why are we still back? Back on Terminus! I'm not gonna get angry because we have the Yumiko. We have the fast hammer. I want to see those wisps coming out. I want to see them zoning. Oh man, if Kaina wins with the Yumiko hammer, I'm gonna be loving this. There's the neutral signature. Down yes, sick. this is exactly it. This is why I suggested this. Look at those wisps. Yuz just has to back away. Just taking up space. Yuz coming in ground and tries to get that side light. Yuz struggling a lot more here in game number two. He's definitely taking some damage, but he's stacked up, so he's not gonna get caught by that wisp. That is the way in. If you're able to just run under them or be stacked when they come out, then you're not going to have a problem with them. They're just, they completely halt Yuz. Yeah, big old stop sign when they come out. Yuz going forward. Threatening there, but kind of with the gravity cancel neutral sig. We'll get him onto the stage. Stomp, side air, but it's going to bounce off that soft platform. Now, he is in the strength stance, but of course, it's not going to be near what he had with the Taros. There's the D-Light into the recovery. Yuz is going to grab the first stock here, but we're seeing much better pace coming out from Kaina compared to the previous games. Now, the Taros on Small Terminus was not working for Kaina. He knows it, so he's at least changing one of the variables. Nice side air. Throws out the Wisps again. Yumiko goes, uh, sorry, Yuz goes really low, and he's not able to get back to the wall. Now keep in mind, in addition to like the Yumiko that kind of has played previously, he's also played quite a bit of Koji in his time in his career. So he has a solid bow. That's one of the reasons I wanted him to swap onto the Yumiko, because I really like his bow. It's very clean, nice falling down here into the recovery. Good spot dodge there from Yuz, scouting out that kind of was going to go for his patented fastball side air in that situation. Dash dancing, kind of, he's behind, he's trying to bait Yuz to come in, but catches him with that down light into the down air. Gets past the Wisps. He also has solid movement speed here with the Yumiko pick. So the footsie game is going to give him a little bit more freedom. He can be a little more jazz-like. He's real close to that one. Use trying not to get caught by the fire here. Hits him with a weapon toss, but it's been a hot minute since Yuz has gotten some damage in. Now he gets it with the downlight recovery. Kind of almost oh, evening up oh. this game. 
Now it is even between those two. You know he's going to be setting up for the D-Light into the side air. Will it come on the it's back disarmed. of a set of Wisps? He's going to be looking for that weapon spawn, trying to get in. The dodge is burned. Use Ooh. immediately throws the weapon away so that he can completely strip the field and keep kind of weapon starved. Oh, Yu's going off stage with that down oh, air. Oh, he's backed cover. away from that so fast. You oh. instantly saw the fast fall. Got Great side touch. air and the weapon toss. He Here come the sweat piece, but he's able to get back. And the two piece, Yu's maintains his lead. Still, he's deep red. This is more doable than Kaina's looked in the past couple of games. Weapons being denied right now. Kaina with the unarmed recovery, not going to do it. Man, he even caught that side light. The top side of it even had enough Ooh. range. Okay, there's a two piece. Just Not able to follow up off of that. You saw the angle after the bounce. Hoping Yuzu's going to go high, but missing the neutral air. Maintaining that center stage control, planting himself right in the middle. Oh, Yuzu doing such a good job. Weapon tosses work so well against Yumiko because they st they stop those wisps. It's starting to slip away. There, oh, there. no. Down light recovery. Yuzu is up to us. <laughs> Why does he? Okay. I see it a little bit more with the Yumiko. Okay. A little bit more with the Yumiko. But again, he's continued to lose on these maps. Game number three here. Yuz has won five games in a row against Kaina. Right now, Yuz one game away from being the two-time world champion. Downlight side air, putting the threat onto Kaina. Again, back right in the middle, planting himself in the middle of that stage, in the middle of all those soft platforms. Now over to the wall, Yuz, is he going to start this one with a massive lead? Almost got that arcing oh. weapon toss. If the soft platform wasn't there, it would have gone over the corner. Doesn't matter, doesn't need it. Gets the KO off the top. Huge lead, only 50 damage on this stock. Kaina, he's starting to fall apart here. Yuz is just getting better and better, and he was already in the lead. Oh. Like you said, Yu's just getting better and better. Gets underneath those wisps. Kind of yet to find much damage here onto Yu's. Oh, That's he got why. the ledge cancel, but, but he doesn't get extra. It takes five games to get to that point. Maybe the triplats are not the move. Stomp, recovery, stomp, down air, DI's to the left, so he will survive. Okay, never mind. Triplats the move, triplats the move. How often can he use that move, though? The wisps not able to be followed up. Yu's. Still with the stock advantage here. The stock not going to hit. Those wisps went from being like a seemingly impenetrable wall for use that he backed up from to now he's just able to run in right under and continue to put pressure out. The threat here, kind of unarmed, gets underneath the end sig. The recovery not going to do it for him, though. Full stock down here, already down 0-2 in this set as well. The grounded wisp use instantly goes over them, gets the interruption with the weapon toss so he doesn't fall into him. The dash jump there from Kaina. He's getting around use. Use though, again, he's got such a lead built. Just dashes away from the side sick from Kaina. Dude, Kaina has no way in. He can't find any initiation Ooh. whatsoever. Chasing into the air with the recovery. The spot dodges, dual spot dodges coming out from both of them at the same time. Now back over oh. to the hammer. There's the D-Light recovery. He's going to have to pick up another weapon. He's going to get nothing off that hammer. It's Yuz with a two-stock lead here, already having a two-game lead. If he 6 0s Kaina, he's going to shut down all the non-believers. You can hear the audience here. Yuz is one stock away from being crowned our BCX 2024 champion. He's done it before. Can he do it again right now? Kinda with the bow. He needs to find the right hit. He's not getting it. The and this time it's going to have to be Kinda. Kinda's got to play the, the, the game of his life right now because he is down two games. He's on his tournament stock potentially. Stop. Side light to start it off. Was reading with the NSIG, but Yuz stayed close. We haven't seen too much hammer side stick, or really any hammer side stick whatsoever. What? Okay. Goes for the second reset there. He got the stop on the ledge cancel, and then he went in an extra one, hoping that Yuz was going to dodge there, but didn't get the hit. Yuz gets in. Downlight recovery. Kind of running out of health here. Oh, the neutral air. The backside of it's not making connections with Yuz. Like, kind of can almost find all the time. Yuz's movement is too good. He's up on that soft platform. Okay. Kind of can't find anything after that recovery. No side air. No KO options. Does get the side light, but Yuz still in the oh! orange. There's the GC side sink. It's instantly punished from Yuz. And he is your two-time back-to-back. 2023, 2024, Brawlhalla 1v1 World Champion.